Okay. Hey everyone. <clears throat> I wanted to do a hydro dip and show you that real quickly how I do it. Um, this is a 50 ounce wine carafe. Um, it is quite a monster. <laughs> so I've already uh, put resin and glitter coated it. Um, I don't have any other layers on this. And I thought, um, I've thought for a long time, what could I possibly put on there to break up the, the, the distance here between the, the base of the beach to the water. And I really couldn't come up with anything. So, hey, hydro dip time. Um, so what we're going to do, right now I've got a, a bucket of water here. And you want to make sure that the depth of your water is going to fit the size of the product that you're going to dip. And then you just simply take your colors and spray into the water. No particular technique to that. And you just kind of go with the colors until you're happy with what you see. And I'll show you the next step. So I'm just going to take each color here, breaking up that teal I just put in. It's looking pretty already. <laughs> And you put in as much or little of the color as you want to show, right? Because um, I'll show you with the camera close up here what I do to help break it up and create a swirl before I dip it. I got this copper penny, which is real pretty. Get it in the bucket, ideally. <laughs> I think I just sprayed mom. <laughs> Sorry about that. Put a little bit more sky blue in there. Okay. And then what I do this show you real quick okay you can kind of see the water there so now what I'm gonna do is just take a little stick or something and I'm just gonna swirl the paint try and get it all kind of into a design I'd like to see sometimes it does it on its own and you don't need to touch it but this kind of helps if it doesn't and it'll help you see if you need to put any other colors in there And I do want to put a little bit more of the lighter sea foam. A little darker than I want. Mix them in with some sky. I think that's going to be pretty. Okay, and then you take your item. And the thing I've seen most successful is I kind of lean it, I tip it. I don't put it in straight like that because then the bottom is going to get all of it. So you just kind of angle it. And as you go in, turn it a little bit so it's getting the paint all around. Okay? And you just push it down into the water. This is a beast. And then when you get them under to the point where you don't want the paint anymore, you have to disturb the paint around it so it doesn't get on the bottle. Ooh, and look yeah. at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> so that's exactly what that needed. Yes. Woohoo! Woo we have glitz, we have shine, and we have hydro painting. Best of all worlds. So now I'm going to let that baby dry. And then he'll get resin, and he'll shine up real nice. With the other paint, you can take a piece of paper, uh, paper towel, whatever, and you can get that paint up out of there and then dump your water. Why don't you do my drinking cup? I can do that. You want the same colors?